Hi, my name is Andy Brown. Thank you for viewing this Heliox training video. We're going to cover the installation of Heliox, uh, the Heliox blender on the uh, Heliox cylinder, and we're also going to cover some basic uses of Heliox. So this is a Heliox tank. Uh, you can tell it's Heliox because universal colors are brown for helium and green for oxygen. One of the big things with the Heliox blender is we do make different versions. We make a high flow version, we make a low flow version. We make an 80-20 version and a 70-30 version. So Heliox cylinders come in three basic contents, 80-20, uh, 70-30, and 60-40. Uh, the two most popular tanks that are out, out there being used in the hospital today are really the 80-20 version and the 70-30 version. This happens to be an 80-20 version tank um, and it's very important when you look at the label that you find that it is 80-20. The Heliox blender uh, concentration must be matched with the tank. So an 80-20 tank will call for an 80-20 blender. A 70-30 cylinder will call for a 70-30 blender. And that just makes a little bit of sense because if there's 20% in the tank, the bottom of the blender goes to 20%. And if it's a 30% tank, the bottom of the blender goes to 30%. That way that the blender is calibrated correctly for the tank. So, uh, medical Heliox, again, we're looking at the tank. Um, the really important thing to do is this tank will be labeled a lot of time with its concentration, and it's very important at the very beginning, maybe when the tank is first being used and opened, that you analyze the contents of the tank. Um, Heliox and oxygen are put into helium into these cylinders, and it, the cylinders are spun to, to homogenize or mix the uh, contents of the cylinder. So if those, contents are not properly mixed, what will happen because really while we're using Heliox and helium is because we take advantage of the density and we all know that helium balloons float. So in this cylinder, the helium will separate from the oxygen. The helium will be at the top of the tank. The oxygen will be at the bottom of the tank. And that's one of the big cautions with Heliox because the helium is an anoxic gas and may, inf and does cannot, may not contain oxygen. So when this cylinder is first opened or maybe when the blender is first connected, that's the appropriate time to analyze uh, the contents of the tank just to double check what's in that cylinder. Medical 80-20 Heliox tanks have a standard. They should be 19.5% uh, up to 20.5% and concomitantly 70-30 cylinders should be around 29.5% to about 30.5%. So now we're going to move on to the installation of the blender onto this uh, tank of Heliox.